How's it going guys? We got a super mini build today. I'm talking about the Curb Stomper boot mod that you guys have been asking for ever since that zero dollar scrap wood build where for a second in the video my shoes were visible and those of you who were not gifted with the comedic genius to go, what are those? Ask me if I could teach you how to do that mod. Now, guys, I understand there is a breed of human out there much, much rarer and purer than I. I'm talking about the fine connoisseurs of military equipment who will be absolutely outraged, and I'm talking genuinely outraged, not just pretentiously pretending to be outraged, who will be so upset about my vandalism of these beautiful, beautiful boots. Uh, well, I've actually thought ahead, and I have written a multi-step inclusive program uh, to help those of you who would have a really big problem with me messing with these boots uh, to overcome your struggles. So I really believe in you guys and I think you'll get through this. But without further blue skidoo, let's mod some boots. Really not much goes into this boot mod. You're just attaching a steel strap to the back of a boot. It's not particularly useful. It's good for bumping out stud walls and stuff like that if you're doing some demolition. Aside from that, mostly just looks cool, but there's nothing wrong with looking cool. Looks matter sometimes. So the first thing you're gonna need is this uh, zinc plated punched flat bar. You can find an infinite amount of this stuff at your local hardware store. I think it's for hanging garage motors or something like that. Second thing you're going to need, these 3 8 inch bolts. These are an inch long. And then the last thing you need for a boot mod is, uh, um, what the heck? Uh, I'll, I'll remember what it is eventually. These are the brand Wellco. They are a jungle combat boot. Oh, boot, that's what it is, it's a boot. Uh, the bottom is the ripple bottom. The most important thing about these boots is that they have more sole than Aretha Franklin because this is some wide strap that we're working with and you don't want this touching the ground, scratching up hardwood floors if you're trying to walk across them. I'm gonna start out with a tape measure and just measure out how much of the strap I'm gonna need. All right, looks like I'm gonna need about 11 inches. All right, first I'm gonna cut off the ugly edge of the steel with my angle grinder. Now I'm gonna get as close to 11 inches as I can while landing in between one of these circles. It looks like a little over 11 inches is the best I'm gonna be able to do. Hopefully that's not too much. Mark out two of them. Now, unlike on my first boots, I'm gonna do a little more shaping of the steel, make it look a little more pro. Line the steel up with the top of the heel, and I'm going to mark out where I'm going to cut. I'll try my best to roll this around the other side. I think I did it. Now, I've got my lines drawn out on one piece of the steel, and I clamp them both together so that I can get perfect symmetry when I cut them both out. I mark where I'm going to drill my first hole. I'll do the same on the other boot too. Now the hole's gotta be super tight, so I'm using a quarter inch drill bit for these three eighth inch bolts. Actually, that may be too small. I think we can swing it. Alright, now I'm going to try to make the bend. Alright, to get this part to lay flat, I'm just going to go on the outside right here, bend it down a little bit. Now when I put the bolt in there, it should lay flat. back right here. I, I guess I don't have to mark that out. I can just drill through it. All 
All right, that's really all you gotta see. Just drill out all the rest of them and plant the rest of the bolts. There you go, guys. The Curb Stomper Boot Mod could not be more simple. Now, guys, I am announcing right now the start of a one-week-long hoodie and t-shirt sale. Prices are lower than ever, and the duck drawing competition that follows will have no age restriction because I'm not giving away a weapon. The winner of the duck drawing competition will receive one of my custom made cajones valued at over $200. If you don't know what this is, basically it is a portable acoustic drum kit replacement. If you wanna see a demonstration of this bad boy, go ahead and check out my uh, cajon build. If you want a chance to win one of these things, go ahead and grab a hoodie. And yes, everybody who has ever bought a hoodie or a t-shirt, including in previous sales, can enter this next duck drawing competition. You don't have to buy another hoodie, but you do have to have at least one. If you're unfamiliar with the rules of the duck drawing competition, don't worry guys. The the rules will be explained very soon. It's nothing really urgent, uh, but if you're wondering why the prices are so much lower this time around, it's because I'm not actually in a huge desperate need of money this time. I actually just want to buy a vlogging camera so I can document the whole entire trip to Oregon and then down to California collaborating with Matt and Omar because I think it'll be really cool and I think it will be full of stuff that you guys would like to see. But yeah, out of the one thing that I've ever done for a giveaway, this is definitely the most valuable thing that I've ever given away. Really excited for whoever gets one of these things. But yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.